guys, I'm Lindsay Bowden and in this video I'm going to show you how to take your Google Sheets activities and hopefully make them cheat proof for your students. So there's no surefire way to make it 100% cheat proof. There are going to be students that figure it out. They're super smart and tech savvy, but I'm going to give you some strategies to hopefully help prevent your students from cheating. So this is a Google Sheets activity where we are going to use conditional formatting so that when students type in the correct answer, it's going to turn the cell green. And when students type in the incorrect answer, it's going to turn the cell red. So I'm not going to go too much into detail about conditional formatting, but I'm going to link a video in the description below that goes into conditional formatting and the very basics to help you get started. So I've made this very basic worksheet in Google Sheets here, and I have put some equations here. I just realized that should say equals. And I want to create this cell so that it will turn green if students type in the correct answer, which would be three and red if they don't. Now, you can use conditional formatting for this. I'm just gonna right click conditional format and I've already got this one set up. First of all, you wanna make sure that the, te the cell stays white if it has type answer here or if it's empty because you don't want the cell to turn red just because students delete this text here because then they're gonna be like, well, I already got it wrong. <laughs> so I have that first. Then what I have done is I just set up a rule so that if this cell is equal to three, it turns green. If this cell is not equal to three, it turns red. So I just added a rule. If it's equal to three, turn it green. Now, this is great and this is super helpful. Three, they got it right. Two, oh, they got it wrong. However, if your students know how to show the conditional formatting rules, which they may very well know, they can just right click conditional formatting. There's the answer right there. So that's not super helpful. We want to still be able to use this amazing conditional formatting tool, but we don't want students to just be able to show the rules and then see the answer. So I'm going to show you a couple of strategies to help with that. First, instead of using this type of rule, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to set it up where the answers are on another sheet and we're going to hide that sheet. So I'm going to add a sheet down here and I'm going to call it something random. Now you could just leave it sheet two if you want, but I like to call it something random like purple. You don't want it to call it answers because students can search within the document and find the word answer. So you don't want to do that. Purple, they're probably not going to search for. Okay, so then once I get this sheet, I'm going to, I like to scroll all the way down, all the way to the right and all the way down to about 400. Just because if students, we're gonna hide the sheet, but if students know how to unhide a sheet, we don't want it to be right there, the answers. We want them to work for it a little bit and hopefully not find it. So I usually do Y 400. So I'm going to put the answers to these equations here. So let's see, that would be this would be three, four, one, and 10. So three, four, one, and 10. Okay. Now what you can do is you can set up the formatting rule to link to that sheet. But I like to go even a step further than that because if they see it's another sheet, they may say, okay, there's a hidden sheet and unhide it. I like to be super tricky, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna link those answers down here below. I'm gonna just start it at A50. So I'm going to press equals, and then I'm just gonna click over to purple and hit that enter. All right, equals. Equals, I'm just pressing equals and hitting the cell that I want it to be linked to equals enter. So now you can see here's the answers. Okay, so now I'm going to set up my rule and I want the rule to be if, and I'm actually going to do a custom formula, if it's equal to, and let's see, that was at a 50. I always like to put the dollar signs just in case I add 
a row or delete a row, it will still keep the rule true. It's the easiest way to describe it. All right, done. And then I want to add another rule so that if it does not equal, so less than, greater than symbol, a 50, then turn it red. All right. So it was right, so it turned it green. Now you may be thinking, okay, well, they're going to see a 50 here, and they're just going to scroll down and see three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn all these white. And then if they click on it, they don't see three. They just see purple exclamation mark Y4100. And they're probably going to say, what? <laughs> Hopefully they'll say what? <laughs> All right, so let me do one more just to show you one more time. So, um, of course, you want to make sure that you have these first. So if text says type answer here, keep it white. If the cell is empty, we want it to stay white because we don't want them to delete this and then it turn red. All right, so custom formula. So the next one would be B50. That's where we had that next answer. So if it's B50, we want it to turn green. If it's not B50, we want it to turn red. All right, so that would be four. Let's make sure it worked. All right, so we have that set up now. Now there's one step further that you can take to make your resource cheat proof. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna turn all of these white so that even if they, they unhide the sheet and they scroll all the way down, they're not gonna be able to see it. And then I'm going to set up a protection on here. I want to protect this whole sheet. So let me do that one more time. I did that kind of fast. So I went, I'm on the sheet purple. I went to data, protected sheets and ranges, sheet. I want to protect the whole sheet. And I already had it done. But um, now when you make a copy for each student, it's not going to keep the protections. It will allow them to edit it. However, it will show them a warning and it'll say this sheet is protected. Are you sure you want to proceed? And hopefully that will stop some students <laughs> not all but some so that's why you want to do that I wish it would keep the protections even when you make a copy but Google Sheets does not do that so this is just one extra precaution to take and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hide this sheet all right now can students unhide it yes they can go to view and they can see the hidden sheets here but even if they unhide it, we have those answers in white all the way down. That's why we did that. So hopefully they won't be able to see it. So I know this worksheet looks kind of boring, but I wanted to show you what this could turn into. So this is actually from one of my templates that I have. I have pre-coded templates for teachers for any subject area, not just math, for any subject area, any grade level, where basically all you have to do is put your correct answers in this sheet and then you're done. Um, but this is what it could look like. So you could have it set up like this where it looks really big and pretty. You could, I already have the answers here. You could hide that sheet and students wouldn't be able to see it. And then you could just assign this to students. And it's a lot more fun than just a paper worksheet. And especially if you are teaching digitally, 100% online or even hybrid, this is a great option for you. And it's that immediate feedback that we all love. All right, so that is a few strategies to help you make your Google Sheets activities cheat proof. I hope that was helpful. If it was, leave me a comment below so that I know. If you're interested in these templates, they are already pre-coded for you. I've done all the work. I've done all the conditional formatting. All you have to do is add your own answers and your own questions. Um, you can go to theresourcestarter.com. That's theresourcestarter.com and grab these templates. There's over 65 templates for just $37 and that's really quite a seal because you can make unlimited resources. Um, you can also click in the description of this video and head to that link. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.